Hey everyone! Well, it's certainly very, very close to Christmas. Only three days away. I can't wait. So, today's video, um, I got a request from As Rock Compo. He wanted me to request a video for uh, Stella, the Cyclostorm Fasciatum that I still have. I just have not filmed that one in, since my last tour video, and I guess it's fair and right to give an update on her. As well as I'm going to give you an update on Gretel to see how well she's doing. That's the Theraphosa Sturmy that molted two days ago. Alright, so uh, I guess we'll start off with the Fash Adam first. Uh, see how well she's doing. She hasn't changed much since the tour update then. She hasn't really been eating very often during the feeding videos. That's why I haven't been recording her very often. So here's the Sea Fasciata, the Costa Rican Tiger Rump for Azrock Compo. As you can see, she's doing very great. Uh, she's around three inches. She's a confirmed female. A six liter shoebox enclosure, like I did for the E. Moranus. Similar setup because they are, are a burrowing species. Pretty cool. And for my Theraphosa Sturmy, see how Gretel's doing. Well, again, I put some water, soak the substrate, and yeah, she still really hasn't changed. Uh, I don't think the molt went perfectly well. Um, I don't think the pink is should be a too big of a concern uh, because if you probably remember. Um, What's her name? Christine? Uh, that was a Haplopelma von Werthy I had last year before she died uh, due to an old age. Well, uh, she had some pink around the eyes and it really didn't affect her. As you can see, she's um, healthy and doing well. Just the pinkness, uh, she'll probably harden out during a couple of days. I think, you know, I think she'll be fine. She's absolutely beautiful, though. Yeah, she looks very scurry. She looks like an... Really? If you look at her, she looks like an Eximanus. Yeah, but... As long as she eats and she's happy, that's that's all I care about. That burgundy hairs on the abdomen. For Christmas Eve, I'm actually going to make a December Arachnator video. So that will be my Christmas present to you guys. So you guys can enjoy a 35 minute video of all the teas that I own. And uh, what I will get in the future and uh, what's going to come. Alright, so uh, there is no OBT that we never see. P. Lagardi sometimes it comes out. That's my Queensland uh, bird eater, Salino Cosmia crassi peeps. Lois, the Gramasola rosea red form. My Brachypala amelia, she's refusing food, so this could be a good sign. Sephora, who is a P. rufolata male. H. lividum. Here's this G. rosea that just refuses food. It's now on her second month now. It's very normal for these teas to do that. El Parahibana. The Smithy. Here's some pokies. There's some of the Tap Gigas, the orange tree spiders. Green bottle blue mature female. Eximanus. E. Moranus, the new one that I got. T. Sturmy, the Burgundy Goliath Bird Eater, mature male. Uh, there is the Calcodes that would not attempt to eat breed. Here's Charlotte, the G. rosea. 
Oh, no, cheap poker piece. Sorry. My 23-year-old curly hair. Sirico Palma Rebronitans, the Panamanian Red Rump. Here's my Pibara. The Ivory Lowland Ornamental. The Smithy. Trapdoor. The Bomi. P Formosa. A couple of P camera dry here. Not all of them are molting now. Teocrity. Lampropelma Valisiopis, the Singapore Blue. That's the Thirxopama Sangerlum. P Smithy. Pocotheria Hanuma Vila Samika, the Ramashwarm Ornamental. Eight Calcodes, Desert Blonde. That's my little sling that likes to burrow. Got a C from Briatus in here, the Indian Violet. P. Concerides, Haitian Brown Birdier. That's the Evil T. That's your poker piece, female. That's Peach. This one here is my P. Smithy. Certainly got a lot larger than before. That's Dichromata. It's my piece of Fesca Highland. Got the Abopolosum here, that's a male. That's a piece Triata, female. That's a um, A Leda, P Metallica. There's Nerissa. I haven't seen this one in a while. That's uh, the P Lagardi that I mistakenly thought it was a P Cordatus. Turns out that was in heavy premolt. Some H Maculata in here. The S Calcium that freshly molted. That's huge now. And I'm going to show you Zelda. My P. Regalis. Just have to get the cage out. There's the Avicularia Versicolor, the Antilles Pink Toe. Um, that's um, Trinity that I got from Shannon back last year. Got the same name. Now this one here, that's the P. Regalis uh, female. Uh, the one that I made it uh, last time and it didn't work. So... <clears throat> So this is what Zelda's been doing recently. Uh, give you a good update on her. Okay, so she blocked off most of her hiding place. She's refusing food. Now, I'm not disturbing her, so I could be a good sign that she might be gravid. Uh, we needed her once back in August, and um, I tried in December, early December, late November. And uh, it was a failed attempt, but it was successful when we made it Pandora. So yeah, this could be a good sign. I'm not sure if uh, Pokies do this before they grab it, but it's definitely a good sign. Sweet. All right, so uh, that's the video. I do hope you enjoy it. And uh, thanks for watching.